I'm dripping junket. How you all doing? Ralph here, Ralphie's Reviews, Team Knucklehead, Go Clan, Go Home Fam. Um, I'm going to review uh, the authentic CCC Underdog V2 in stainless fucking steel. Yeah, just come out. We've had the copper and the brass for ages. We had the last of the V1s as well. I'm a huge fucking fan. Those uh, Cloud Chasing Club boys, big love, big love guys. Excuse me. <coughs> I've fucking been so ill. Anyway, fucking Bob on. He's only came in yesterday. I've snaffled number 111 straight the fucking way. I've coupled it with one of their stainless mini competition caps and a two post deck. So we've got an 100% authentic that won't break the bank set up and it fucking kicks ass. Thank you very much. See you later. No, that's not it. Let me have a vape. Defo needs to change the battery. It's great. It really is great. We've got 25 mil. Yeah, we've got, it comes with, a, a, unlike the copper and brass, it comes with a spring fitted in the battery, a standard, and you get two magnets, so you want to switch it out. Now, quick heads up, we're getting silver plated copper buttons that fit all of the underdog V2s, and they fucking make it hit like a pissed up hillbilly. They really fucking do. I'm getting one straight in here. Now, as good as it is, there's no wrong with it, but we always try to push that envelope a little bit more, don't we? So I'm going to definitely get a silver plated copper in there. Lovely stuff. Really, really simple bits of kit. Really well machined, really well finished. It's just great from the get go, yeah. Absolutely fucking bob on. All I've done is put the deck and the cap on and a battery in and fucking vaped away. Nothing. I've not cleaned it. I've not fucking done anything because it's come faultless. It's absolutely fucking lootly ready to rock and roll straight out of the box. I've not changed the spring for a magnet. I've not done shit. I've just used it and I fucking love it. I've not put it down since I got it. So really simple little bit. There's a 510 disc at the top. See if I can get that off. Look. You've got your 510 disc at the top. There with some vents in, this on the bottom of the RDA. You've got your battery goes in, you've got the Delrin insulator down there that floats so you don't get a battery rattle, and then you've got your magnet with a, uh, sorry, your sprung switch with a silver contact down that hole, if you can see it. And we're gonna change that out for one of those new super duper, all singing, all dancing, silver buttons. The only pain in the arse, if you're a bit anal, is that you're gonna lose your serial number off the bottom of your mod, but you'll keep that button, so, if you want to fucking stroke your trousers or sell it on or whatever, you've got it to replace it. Who gives a shit, you know? There you go. Let's fucking put this back together. So battery in, fucking device on. Screw it all the way down. Just make sure that it's snug. No battery rattle. Push the button. Boom. We're off straight away. I need to drip. Give it a couple of squares. With the easy dripper. Fucking great basic kit. Easy dripper. <sighs> Wonderful. Let's go in close. I'm going to take about 30 seconds to show you what they consist of because there's fuck all to it. And there lies the genius. The simplicity of the design. It's fucking great. Really, really like them. I'm a huge fan. And I'll see you in a minute. So the underdog, now the, the the first run of these V2s came in a, a metal tin, the same as the mongrels, and the, the manufacturers have started not doing that. They send them in these boxes, which is fine. So, here we go. We get number 199, with a lovely CCC logo, all stainless. You've got your vents around your switch, you've got your vents around the body. You've got the old underdog deep etch in there and you've got your 510 adapter again it's got slots and vents so that any heat can escape down the pipe there 
which we'll struggle to pick up. You've got a silver plated contact that's on a spring, as standard, and you get a couple of magnets in the box, should you wish to change it out for magnets. There's also a Delrin insulator down there that I can't show you because it's not picking it up. But when you push the, the button up, it clears the Delrin and Bob's your uncle. It really is that fucking simple. Screw your disc on your RDA, slots to the top, screw the old lot in there like that. You're good to fucking go, you know. That's it, that's all there is to it. Here's mine built up with a two post deck. Yeah, just lovely, just really, really cool. Everything fits together so well. The old battery and switch works a treat. Look, I've left the mag uh, the spring in, I've not changed it for magnets, I've just used it straight out of the box. Put that on, give it a little tweak, put the cap on. Twist it until your airflow lines up with your coils and you're away. You know, that's it. We have got uh, silver plated copper buttons coming, which are going to make them kick ass. Apparently, although there's nothing wrong with the performance, nothing wrong with the finish either. It's like a low shine. Um, it's not mainly polished, but it's fucking clean. We've got a little radius took off the edges, so it's smooth. Even in the button there, if you can see, there's a little recess in the body and a little chamfer on the button. So it's all fucking really, really well finished. It's superb. This one's brand new, it's straight out of the box. First time it's been out of the box. And there you go. It's you know it's clean. It's no oily. It's no swarf. There's nothing. That's not that's out of the box. Not out of the fucking mod. <laughs> if I'd have done that, a load of fucking shit would have come out. What a dickhead. Anyway, I didn't. Cause the fucking spot on. Clean. No shit. Fucking great. Lovely bits of kit and a true credit to CCC. I'm a huge, huge advocate. Are the things they make quality items at a reasonable price. Yeah, so simple, so fucking simple, so effective. Let's go back up top and have a vape and talk a bit more. So yeah, what what's left to to say? You know, I've still got a label on the bottom of my mouth. CCC V2 Underdog Stainless, huge fan of the copper, huge fan of the brass, I've got one of each. Um, it just floats my fucking boat, you know. Uh, not so long back, I was all for the brass, I like brass, I'm a bit of an old fashioned bastard and it looks a little bit funky and old fashioned. I like copper as well, my lad Joey Pickles is a huge fan of copper, copper's proper dad and I like brass is class, but steel is fucking real. I think a few years ago, stainless steel mods it like a fucking wet fish. You know, they were, they were tough as fuck, but did they deliver? Not really. And since <coughs> vaping's gone more and more sub ohm, you know, we were low and low. I first started at 1.8 ohms was my daily go to, and we were using 24 gauge canthal on 1.6 bits. Yeah, eighth, uh, sixteenth drill bit. I used a needle bar for tattooing because tattooed for thirty years. Got hundreds of them. But now we're fucking running zero point zero yada yada. Stainless steel got left behind because it didn't fucking do it. To be fair, but things have moved along. You know, we've got alloy mongrels. We've got stainless steel abels. We've got stainless steel of these. We've got other silver metal mods that fucking do it these do it absolutely fucking do it tough as fuck feels great looks great fucking clean as a whistle what do you want to know it's fucking all singing all dancing it is the cabaret cart on that steam train to fucking flavor town it does it so there you have it wonderful bit of kit super clean 
I'll put a link in as always. Come and join us on the group if you're not already a member. No fuckwits though. So if you're a bit of a dickhead, don't bother. I'm only joking. I'm not joking about the no fuckwits. I'm just... Oh, shut up. Yeah, all right. I'll get on. Thanks very much. Lovely. Have a good one, everyone. And remember, people, smoking kills, vaping saves lives, which you choose. Yeah? Big love, everyone. I'll see you all again really, really soon. I'll try not to leave it so long in between reviews as well, but... I'm very happy to say that I've got a fucking life and it gets in the way sometimes, so such it is, such is it, such is life, whatever, see you soon, big love.